Hi my lovely Frosty fam, it's me Karen Frost here at Nail Decadence and I've got finally voicing over a video for you. I'm going to be showing you how I deal with these new brushes and how to prep them and stuff so if you don't want to do that just if you are, if you don't want to see that just skip ahead to that timestamp that you saw in the corner of the screen and it will take you to the rest of the video and you can skip this brush prep part the first thing you want to do when you get a new brush is to break up some of the starchy substance that's in the brush that's holding it in, sh in place for shipment just flick it around a bit the bristles get that some of that starchy stuff off and then you can clean the brush with the liquid so with my gel brush I will use the slip solution to clean it before I first use it and as you saw I was being lazy I didn't put it in a dabbing dish I just poured some on the bristles and wiped it on the kitchen roll a few times that is enough to clean that brush you don't want to use the brush before you've cleaned it you want to get all that stuff out of it first and with the acrylic brush which is Kalinsky as well it's um, you want to use some monomer to clean it so I've just poured a little a bit of monomer into a dappen dish and then I will rinse my brush in that and wipe it off a few times same like I did with the gel brush it's just that I'm dipping it into the liquid instead and then that's how you clean the brush ready for first use you don't want to use monomer that you've cleaned your brush in because that contains some of the contamination of what was holding the bristles in place so you only want to use a small amount to clean your brush in don't waste your monomer and dispose of that monomer by pouring it onto your kitchen roll or doing what I'm doing now and then dispose of that kitchen roll never ever pour it down the sink or the toilet you do not want that in your water system at all always use a kitchen roll to soak it up and then place it in the bin and for those who are interested I'm showing you the different sizes of the brushes so I've got the 12 the 14 and the 16 so I'm showing you side profile as well as a front profile so you can see the differences between the sizes as they go up in size for those that are curious about how does it compare to how the 16 compares to the other brushes and now I will show you what I am using for this set of nails so I'm going to use the size 14 and the size 16 you'll see why in a minute <laughs> when we get into the uh, application got some silver leaf and some other bits and pieces I've got these petals and as you can see this is how I got them I my daughter bought me this beautiful blue orchid and when the flowers dropped off and died I dried them and now I'm breaking up a couple of petals to get these little bits and bobs that I can put into nails because you know you know what I'm like I'm gonna if I've got flowers I'm gonna dry them and I'm gonna make nails out of them <laughs> I love encapsulating things in nails as you can see from the nails I'm wearing in this video that video will be coming next to the nails that you can see I'm wearing right now I'm using this gel paint it's not the best gel paint um i don't recommend it but i've got it so i'm going to use it i would recommend the spd london ones though because they're really really good but yeah these ones are a bit thick and sticky and, and not as smooth to work with but anyway on to the application now as you saw that first bead was way too runny and because i've been using the size 16 and i hadn't tried it before it was I wasn't used to the amount of liquid it holds because obviously a size 16 brush holds a lot more liquid than a size 12 or a size 14 so that first bead kind of ran away from me a little bit I think I would have been better if it, if I had used the high speed monomer rather than the medium because that sets up a lot quicker so I probably should have used the high speed liquid and I, it, I probably would have got on with the brush a bit better but I mean it's not an awful awful application but it's certainly 
not the best application that I can do for sure. So I'm gonna switch brushes soon. So on this nail, I'm, every nail is just going to be the plain cover pink. And on this nail, obviously you can see I'm placing two little blue butterflies on that, on the end of the nail. Same again on the ring finger full cover of the cover pink and as you can see it slipped away from me a little bit in the side walls there which is really annoying so I'm just using the tip of my brush just try and sort that out I'll have to sort out the rest in filing you don't want to get it on the skin and this is where I switch to the size 14 because I'm like like I'm losing control that's the second time I've lost control of a bead I'm going to switch back to the 14 and try again with the high speed monomer at a later date with the size 16 because the, the medium speed is just not setting up enough for me to be able to control the beads so that's why I switched to my size 14 so a bit less liquid still picks up quite a lot of liquid don't get me wrong but it, it's a bit less than the 16 because obviously it's smaller and I'm able to control the beads a little bit better this way so full cover I'm not building any strength at this point because I am going to encapsulate the nails to protect the glitter and the petals and stuff so and I, d I tend not to build my nails in cover pinks anyway I like the look of a nail that is um, capped in clear I just love that glass effect it gives so regardless either way I like to cap it also you know if you're using clear which is the cheapest acrylic let's let's not get it twisted if you're encapsulating in clear you're saving yourself a few pennies and your colors are going to last a lot longer so win-win all around in my opinion same again on the middle finger like I said they're all going to be just straight up cover pink but just enough to get the color payoff I'm not building any strength just very thin not thick at all and then I will encapsulate to protect the glitters and also build my strength and structure so as you can see with this one I worked up the nail rather than doing the cuticle bead first I I don't I swap and switch do what is when I learned first learned how to do it they I always did from the tip up and then you know you did, you did the tip first then you did the middle of the nail then you did the cuticle bead it, the three bead method that way that's the way I was taught however when you get your own little flow going it doesn't really matter if you work from the middle of the nail first or the cuticle area first or the tip first it really doesn't matter as long as you're getting the nail done so don't be too rigid in your application find what works for you get your own little flow going um, that would be my advice for beginners don't worry so much about whether you start at one end of the nail or the other don't worry about that too much as long as you're getting the nail um, structurally sound there's yeah don't worry about whether you start at the cuticle or the free edge first it makes no difference the nail is it, still a nail at the end of the day so same again on the index finger but you saw with the middle finger I applied some of the petals and some of the silver leaf. The index finger is going to be the same as the ring finger and the little finger in this case. So whilst I'm doing that let's talk about my community posts. <laughs> oh my god. So I let you guys know that I'd had taken a fall because money's give way it's just part of my illness it is what it is and I'm so used to it I was more concerned about my laptop than anything else so when I made that community post I didn't even say whether I was okay or not and after reading some of the comments I realized my error because what is nothing new to me and isn't is almost you know an, an everyday occurrence is not is, is more of a big deal to to you guys because you guys don't see me every day so you don't know that I, I fall over all the time and it's nothing new under the sun and my family is so used to it nobody blinks an eye anymore um, <laughs> but you guys aren't used to that so I kind of forget about the perspective of someone who doesn't live with me and know me that way and 
so I had some comments like oh my gosh are you okay kind of thing and I was like oh I all I talked about was the laptop I didn't even tell you guys um whether I was okay or not and I totally didn't even say that it had happened a couple of weeks ago it wasn't that recent um and you know I've mostly healed from it now I've just got some fading bruising but oh my goodness yeah I probably should have said that I'm sorry I didn't mean to worry you guys I don't tend to say my everyday things um and let everybody know kind of it, 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 I'm quite private in that way I'm not here to you know have a moan about my illnesses and what what I go through on a daily so it's only when it prevents me from doing something that I'll mention it and because I had scheduled the videos in advance when it actually happened I didn't say anything because there was no need to the videos were scheduled no one would no one would know any different kind of thing um but then I ran out of scheduled videos and I couldn't get the videos up because my husband's computer it just can't cope with the editing program and it just yeah it, it can't so I've really struggled to try and get this video edited and I couldn't get it done in time finally got it finished editing now and now I'm able to do the voiceover part but yeah it it has been a pain in the butt to get this um, video up so totally missed my normal upload upload schedule but it is what it is and that's why I put up the community tab post was to let you guys know I'm trying to get a video out I'm sorry I missed my upload day but you know I'm trying to get it done had that not been occurred I wouldn't have said what had happened to me because like I said there's no need to you guys don't need to know what happens to me all the time you know no need for that it's only when it affects what you guys see that I will say something so yeah don't worry um, I'm fine I'm still resting up and stuff I'm waiting still waiting for my laptop to be fixed at this point um, yeah hopefully I'll get it back soon I don't know when I know it's gonna cost a fortune but yeah yeah they're gonna send me an invoice when they know exactly how much it's going to cost and when they finish the work kind of thing so yeah until then my upload schedule is going to be a bit up the wazoo because i can only do what i can do with the laptop i'm working on which is like i said it's my husband so it's not doesn't have the kind of what's the word the graphics side of things you know it's good for like word documents and stuff but not exactly good for doing editing videos it's just not, not that kind of laptop but yeah I'll sh I'll muddle through and when I've got videos finished editing and voiced over you'll get them as soon as I've I'm able to but anyway so now that that's out of the way and I've explained myself <laughs> I can't believe you. Yeah, um, yeah, I can believe actually. I was well. I wasn't worried about what happened to me. I was worried about my laptop. That's just me all over. But anyway, as you saw, I encapsulated the nails with clear acrylic and filed and shaped off camera. And then I used a little butterfly sticker, stuck that in between the petals on the middle finger. And now I'm going to use that blue gel paint to just do an outline French outline with a striping brush now as you guys know my hands are shaky so it's not easy and this paint is really quite thick so it doesn't just it doesn't apply as smoothly as the SPD London ones do but I mean it does the job so the coverage is good it's not fantastic but it is good so you do kind of had to make sure there's enough on there you can't do it too thin otherwise it will be um, a bit transparent a bit translucent so yeah you can't just do one line and done you do have to go over the lines a couple of times to just build up the color but I mean it's all right it does the job I wouldn't recommend it but like I said but it, it works it does it does the job 
So I will just do the outline French on all of the nails and try and get them to look as even, and po as, even as possible. I will use some rubbing alcohol and a little uh, clean up brush to tidy up any of my wonky lines because yeah I don't have um, hands, steady hands so I do need a little bit of help to get my lines neat. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, I didn't do too badly, really. I will flash cure in between because I don't, I know me, I'll end up touching the one that I've already done. And look, there you go, touched it. Ah, oh, got some blue gel paint on my finger, so. Because I, I didn't, I should have put it in the big lamp because it's on the sides where I'd had that little lamp over the top it didn't really cure the sides properly so yeah I really should have put it in the full lamp to flash cure it and then it probably wouldn't have got on my finger but yeah I decided to just carry on and try not to touch it as much as possible so yeah I'll just I'll just do the outline anywho how are you how's everyone doing We've got a little bit of freedom now in the UK. We are uh, coming out of lockdown, so things are changing, which is pretty exciting. What are you guys up to? What's the first thing you guys are going to do? I mean, my life doesn't really change that much, whether I'm wearing lockdown or not, because I don't go out an awful lot because of my illness so it's not really a huge change for me it's a big change for my family though because they go out a lot and um, yeah my husband's definitely chomping at the bit to uh, get outside and, and do things again yeah, he's looking forward to going to restaurants and stuff and yeah he's just looking forward to being free bless him <laughs> he's more of an outdoorsy kind of guy i'm more of a home body but like i said that's also partly to do with you know my disability it's just hard for me when we're out so and i don't like to hold them back so often my husband and kids will go out without me so that i'm not because i feel like i'm holding them back when i'm with them because they, there's certain things that i just can't do so you know just sitting in my mobility scooter or my wheelchair watching them do stuff is nice sometimes but on the other hand it's it's kind of not very nice because then I'm you know if they're up on um roller coasters and stuff and I'm just sitting there like Ooh, doo -doo. what's the point of me being here kind of thing it's yeah I mean it's nice to see them having fun don't get me wrong but it's also hard that you can't join in if that makes sense so yeah a lot of the time they go without me um and that's fine Mo uh, yeah i'm fine with that a lot of the time sometimes it gets to me but it depends it depends on what they're doing if it's something i can participate with then obviously i'll go but if it's something that's going to impede them like if we're getting on and off uh trains and stuff obviously i, I can't do that i just can't so yeah it does depend on what they're doing so what are you guys going to do that's what i want to know let me know in the comments what's what's what are you excited to do out of lockdown i mean i'm quite looking forward to going to a restaurant that would be nice to have a sit down meal yeah i don't know what else i'm looking forward to I know that, like I said, the family have got a list, <laughs> a, lost, a long list of things they, they want to do now that the restrictions are lifted somewhat. Um, yeah, but I'd like to know what you guys are doing. I'm going to live vicariously for you all. What are you doing? It's weird. The world is strange right now. I hope you are all taking care of your mental health. I've mentioned it in a few other videos. Um, your mental health is extremely important because if you're not okay your family's not okay so do take care of your mental health talk to people i know sometimes it's hard to talk 
but sometimes it can be very beneficial to just have a little vent, get things off your chest and feel a little bit better that way. Um, don't always have to speak to a professional, but if you can, that's always a good thing too. So yeah, take care of your mental health. So I'm almost finished doing the outline, as you can see. So this is a fairly simple set, really, when you think about it, what I'm um, actually doing on this set of nails. It is a, it is a simple set, so you guys can re recreate it very simply and obviously use different colours, etc. You know, the world is your oyster. Do what you like. But I hope you like this design, it being a bit more simple and easy, essentially, to do because it's just one colour on the nails and then a little bit of gel paint. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly simple set to do to pull off anyway. There's not much left of the video. Obviously, I've, I've got to top coat and seal that design in, you know, top it off and keep it tough and all that. So I will do that. But whilst that is um, happening, I would like to say thank you ever so much for visiting my channel. You guys watching the videos are helping me because you're keeping my spirits up, knowing that you guys are enjoying the content. And I love seeing your comments, that it really helps. Whether it is constructive criticism or not, um, I'm happy to talk. I love to see things from your point of view. It kind of changes, you know, the way I see things sometimes. So it's always, it's always good to see it from someone else's point of view. You guys help me out a lot with that. So thank you for commenting. But if you have not already subscribed, I would love it if you would join the Frosty fam, they are awesome. If you have enjoyed this video in any way, shape or form, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you feel up to it, like I said, you're most welcome to leave me a comment. I'm more than happy to talk to you. That's all I've got for this time, peeps. You take care now and I'll speak to you all again, hopefully soon, because I'm going to try and get another video done. But um, let's see how many days that takes. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to do my best. That's all I can do. Yeah. Take care now, peeps. Bye for now. Make it